This is a party for a very select group of people. In two years, they're scheduled to be the first passengers on a galactic airline. After planes and trains, Sir Richard Branson is branching out into spaceships with the launch of Virgin Galactic. You know, we're, we're taking quite a big gamble on, um, or, you know, talking about a couple of hundred million um, dollars of investment um, on the basis that we think we can create um, a um, space company. It's a commercial enterprise, a journey into the unknown. But that hasn't stopped the company from taking millions in deposits. I decided that I wanted to play, and I decided, let's get on board, write the check, and get in on the, get at the front of the line, because at my age, I can't afford to get back in the middle of the line. It's a privilege to be founders, and to open up a new frontier, to make something possible that wasn't possible before. You know, we have to get a lot of people to fly into space, to make that a commercial success. Um, but nothing's guaranteed in life, um, and unless we actually give it a go, we won't know. So how does Branson intend to do what the might of NASA never could? Make space travel available to everyone? I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The history of space travel is littered with promises. But during a glorious period in the 1960s, some of those promises became a reality. No idea seemed too outrageous. Anything seemed possible. Paving the way for the rest of us, were astronauts like Rusty Schweikart. Nobody's flown in space and come back without realizing that they're a model for people on the ground, especially for kids. They just put themselves right in your place, just like that. I mean, it's just automatic. There's something deep in the human being, in, in our nature, that wants to experience things like this, that wants to go into unusual environments. It wants to move out to explore, to understand the unknown. 